Watch, Shannon Bedore reacts to Tamara Judge remark. When it comes to parenting, Sandra Bullock is glad to have her longtime partner, Brian Randall, by her side. On the December 1st episode of Facebook Watch's Red Table Talk, the unforgivable star, 57, shared details about life with her two children, son Louis, 11, and daughter, Layla, 8, and how Brian, 55, has been the right human being for the family. Describing Brian as a very patient man and a saint, Sandra raved co-hosts Jada Pinkett Smith, Willow Smith, and Adrian Banfield Norris, he's evolved on a level that is not human. Though Sandra and the professional photographer hadn't been together long when she finalized Layla's adoption in 2015, the actress recalled Brian stepping up as a parental figure at the time. His whole life had been unraveled because of me, Sandra remembered, explaining how Brian was thrust into the spotlight after their relationship was made public. He was so happy, but he was scared. I am a bulldozer. My life was already on the track and here's this beautiful human being who doesn't want anything to do with me life but is the right human being to be there. He's the example I would want my children to have, she continued. I don't always agree with him and he doesn't always agree with me, but he is an example. Even when I don't agree with him. Sandra added that if her children can learn from Brian and if that is where they feel drowned, then he's the exact right parent to be in this position. During the candid conversation, Sandra also opened up about Louis and Layla's adoption stories. According to the Oscar winner, she found out about both babies when she was staying in Jackson Hole, Ohio, where her mom, Helga Meyer, is buried. It makes me really emotional, but I feel beyond a shadow of a doubt that my mother brought me these children. I knew I would be a mother. I knew I wouldn't be a mother at a young age, Sandra said, adding that she was focused on her acting career before deciding to adopt. That was all that I had. That was my joy. I was on a wheel, but it's hard when society is breathing down your neck going, you have to do motherhood this way. Sandra adopted Louis in 2010. She recalled that the moment she met her son, when Louis came into my life, he was put into my arms at 10 days old. I just knew and I said, this is my path. As for Layla, the Ocean's 8 actress fostered the young girl before finalizing the adoption. The process, according to Sandrick, was an out-of-body experience. It's a system that exists and people don't know about it because it's a difficult thing to talk about, she said of adopting Layla through foster care. It gets deep and it gets dark. When I first went through the process myself, you have to prove that you are a capable parent and you are in the judgment cage. Though Sandra said she nearly gave up halfway through the process, she persisted and went through training on how to care for Layla, who the actress side as triggers from past trauma. At that time, it was really hard to separate yourself and not be hurt because all you want to do is love, but guess what? Your love is not gonna cut it. Right, and in there, she remembered. Sandra said that it wasn't until a year and a half two years ago when Layla found her comfort zone. As Sandra explained, who she is has pushed forward. Beyond the triggers and the fears. For Sandra, motherhood has been an eye-opening experience, particularly when it comes to racism and society might see her two black children. Sandra said, as a white parent who loves her children more than life, I am scared of everything, I know I am laying all kinds of existential anxiety on them. I have to think about their experience leaving the home. I've been schooling Lou since he was six years old, she continued. And I let him see everything, I let him see everything on television. I let him process it. He no show the world works. He knows how cruel it is, how unfair it is and now Layla is knowing it. Sandra added, I let them teach me and tell me what they need to know. I thought I was educated and woke, but guess what? I wasn't.